The fight against the North American Union is escalating, not at the federal level, but at the state level. Currently, 14 states are considering legislation opposing what the administration calls the Security and Prosperity Partnership. In Idaho, the measure has been approved by both houses of its legislature because Idaho is tired of the secrecy. In a simple statement from one of the Senate sponsors, he explains, quote, Idaho wants Congress to weigh in on this and get it out in the open and vote on it. At the federal level, it's hard to escape the push for unifying Canada, Mexico, and the United States. The language is everywhere, even though the people have never voted on it. In last year's failed so-called comprehensive immigration reform bill, the Senate inserted language praising the North American Union for progress made, quote, in developing and implementing an immigration security strategy for North America that works towards the development of a common security perimeter. In other words, gone are the borders of the United States of America. Welcome to the borders of North America. It's a far cry from what's happening at the state level. The state activity is an indication of the grassroots concern about this issue. The states are closer to the grassroots, and that's where you're going to first see uh, the indication of some discomfort with the Security Prosperity Partnership or the idea of a North American Union. Washington isn't listening, just as Washington has ignored the people on the issue of immigration. Bill Tucker, CNN, New York.